Hi, I'm David Goodwin, and we'll be interviewing two members about the changes due to the pandemic. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a junior, and I play Sophia, and this is a text. I'm Luke Siebersad. I'm also a junior, and I was in This is a Text and Small Actors. What went into making the play during COVID? Um, there were definitely like a lot of people involved, not as many as we're used to, because with COVID, we had to like keep being small. So um, we had two one acts, so that way we could give people opportunities and um, still be able to like maintain six feet apart. Um, so one thing that was different is we had to wear masks on stage to be safe during the pandemic. And it was just very hard to project and keep the volume at a level it's supposed to be with the mask in front of your face. And so I think we really had to get used to that. What went well during the play? Um, I think one thing that went really well during this play is that the entire cast and crew was very good at keeping their distance from people and keeping their circle small so we were able to keep rehearsing and eventually perform and record the performance. Is there anything else you want to mention before we finish? Um, I just want to give a big thank you to Mr. Miller and Mr. Handler for having the dedication to put on a show during a pandemic. And I just think that it was really nice to have a sense of normalcy, and I thank them for giving that to us. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Putting it on a show takes a ton of dedication and so many hours go into it. And then adding COVID and a pandemic, that just makes it even harder. And I really just want to thank them for that. Please keep an eye out for the plays as they will be available before the winter break. Make sure to check out the play. Thank you and stay safe. Hello, Rosemount. This is Ash and Delooney. Because of the current COVID-19 pandemic, many have fallen on hard times. Jobs have been lost, families have been going through a lot of tough areas, and a lot of us in some way have had to deal with a lot of fear and new rules in our society. But just because that is true doesn't mean we can't try and spread some kind of positivity right now. One such example would be the National Art Honor Society and what they're currently doing to help out. Every year, NAHS creates Winter Holiday and Valentine's Day cards to sell to every student in the school. The National Art Honor Society has decided to make different Get Well cards for the kids residing over there. A lot of them include many sorts of drawings and designs on them that make the kids laugh or just be happy, just anything to help keep them at ease or bring their minds to something else right now. Life is really tough at the moment, for everyone, but the best thing to remember is that we're all in this together. And maybe you don't have to make cards like NAHS does or do anything super big, but anything you can do to help others is great. That means wearing a mask, washing your hands multiple times throughout a day, or just making sure that others and yourself are safe. We're a community, the Rosemont Irish community. And if you just believe that, then I know we'll all get through this. Again, this is Ashton DeLooney, signing out. Hello Rosemount, my name is Isaiah Webb, and I want to talk about the effort our kitchen staff put out to make sure everyone stays safe and healthy. Our kitchen staff are working hard by packing foods in boxes every week. They want to make sure everyone gets a meal to eat at home while we are distance learning. The kitchen manager, Joe Beyer, has some words to say about it. Hi, my name is Joe Beyer, and I'm the kitchen manager here at Rosemont High School and have been for the past 15 years. I just want to say to all the students that myself and my staff, we miss you and we're thinking about you and you're in our prayers. The USDA is funding this project for all food for students across the nation. None of these dollars come out of any educational funds at all. So what you can do is go to our link on our website, Food and Nutrition. You click on the link, Take Home Meal Survey and then you just sign up. It doesn't ask for your name, and what we're providing is seven breakfasts and seven lunches for the week. You can pick the food up Mondays from 4 to 5.30 at night, Tuesday from 7.30 to 9, Wednesday from 10 to 11, and Thursday and Friday also from 7.30 to 9. If this isn't convenient for you, I just want you to know that I'm here from 5.30 to 1.30. You can always call me, and I'd be happy to run a box out to you. Each week we're doing 200 take-home boxes a week, but we know that this number is going to climb, so get on the website, sign up, because we want to make sure that we have enough for you when you come up to pick it up and that we don't run out. Anybody who is 18 or under is eligible. If you have multiple students throughout the district, I just want you to know that you can pick up all your meals at one school. So if you come and you say you've got three kids, I'm happy to give you three boxes. 
When you come to pick up your food, we do ask that you get out of your car and come and get the cart. Um, you're not on any list, so we don't know who's coming to get them, so just tell us how many you need. We'll put them on the cart, and then you take it to your car, and we just want to let you know that we do sanitize the cart in between every single use, and we're wearing masks and gloves, so it's completely safe. And we look forward to seeing you. All right, everybody, I hope you know the importance of the work of how our kitchen staff brings meals to the community and the school. Thanks for watching and stay safe. In this new era of distance learning, technology is being utilized more in our education. But more technology means more technological issues. So if you are in need of technical help, take note of these support options. On the Rosemount High School website, rhs.district196.org, Hover your mouse over the Academics button at the top of the screen. If you are on your iPad, you can just tap on it. From there, you will find the RHS Technology subcategory. Click here and you will be taken to our Technology Support page. Once you're there, you will see multiple options catering to whatever you need. First, you'll see the Contact Us tab. Upon selecting this, a drop-down menu will appear, allowing access to support for student and parent login issues as well as student technical issues. Next is general technology resources. In this drop-down menu, you are provided options for district one-on-one -on -one student and parent resources, as well as Wi-Fi troubleshooting tips. The third tab is for iPad, Schoology, and apps. In this menu, you can find iPad and specific apps troubleshooting guides, and the Schoology status monitor. Finally, scrolling further down on the page will bring you to our media and technology staff. These are the people you can contact for specific problems. Don't be afraid to reach out to them. They're here to make sure every student gets the support they need. Hey Rosemount, I'm Isaac, and here are the highlights of the last playoff game against Anoka on November 17th when the Irish won 35 and Anoka 0. Yeah.